Notify Contacts. On the left hand side, select Maintain. Now select Work Orders. Select Add Work Order. Now I will go ahead and create a work order. Within the work order, after it is created, on the right hand side, you will find Notify Contacts. You will see you can always add a tenant or an owner if needed. Select who you would like to notify you are creating this work order. Let's say I want a property manager to know that I am creating this work order so he does not create a second work order. I would also like my owner and tenant to know as well. You will see their preferred contact method is email. You can always change this to text or manual for your non-company users. Keep in mind though, if you change this to text, this will not change Hank Hill's preferred method of contact, but simply for this particular work order, you will text instead of email. If you were to select anybody at this time when you create the work order, they will be notified throughout the whole process. You may want to consider that not everybody wants to be notified when the work order is created, for example. I will not let my tenant know as the work order has yet to be scheduled. Now go ahead and save your work order now let's go into the work order page. If I were to scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see communication has been sent. I can sort by type, I can sort by message, or date. Now, if I were to scroll up at the top of the page and select schedule, now that we have our vendor and access information, here is where you would like to notify that you are scheduling this work order. Because I am scheduling the work order, I would like to let my tenant know as well as the owner and property manager. Select schedule. Now if I were to go back into the work order and scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see another set of communication was sent out about this particular work order. And that is how you notify contacts.